Hey everybody, this is Stratagem, and today we're going to watch two more episodes of DWK's Totally Legit Recaps. First will be Parental Guidance, and then Hard to Say Anything. This week the episodes are better than last time, still, let's see how DWK will rip these to a new one. So, here we are. Windy whistles in the... Oh god, of course, Totally Legit move. Why am I not surprised? Okay, so... Apple Bloom's like, Scootaloo, I think Rainbow Dash is rubbing off on you. And <laughs> Scoot's like, um, yeah, she tried that once on uh, Margarita yeah, Night, but course. I kicked her real hard and she stopped. Uh, no, I just meant this is a really, really bad idea. Yeah, damn, it would really suck if I ended up crippled, right? Or God forbid I died. Those <laughs> loving parents of mine, they'd be so devastated. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I see your point. I'm not yeah. stupid, dude. I just have nothing to lose. Hey, man, we'd be sad if you died. Then why are you helping me, dude? Good question because we have shit judgment too so scoot is yeah. being metal as fuck today and <laughs> slingshots herself into cloudsdale in service of her never-ending quest to stalk rainbow dash i Indeed. mean ostensibly it's for a school project but Invasion that just seems privacy. like a convenient yeah. alibi Indeed. anyway she makes it but sadly ends up in the wrong place at the wrong time and gets her head cut off by a lawnmower the end. yeah that would have been a short episode i'm just kidding but i i got you didn't i didn't no, I? you didn't. Did I get you? Anyway, <laughs> actually, she ends up in the exact right place at the exact right time because look who she runs into. Now, I could make a big fucking to-do about the fact that this guy, Dash's dad, is clearly not the same person as this guy yeah. who we saw during the flashback in Games Ponies Play, and I could be like, so if this is her dad, then who is this? But I'm not completely <laughs> fucking retarded, so I can reason that obviously at the time back in 2013, it was being implied that this this guy was Dash's dad, but since it was never stated canonically, when they decided <laughs> to do this episode and wanted to go with a different design, they could still do so while maintaining at least technical plausibility. Moreover, yeah, I don't fucking care, but I know it's one of those things where if I didn't mention it, I'd get a bunch of people bitching about it in the comments because <laughs> yeah, somehow exactly after like a year that. and some change, it seems like a solid 25% of the people watching these videos still think this is an analysis channel. <laughs> so really, what, the reason I bring it up is to segue into a simple message to those people. Shut the fuck Holy <laughs> shit, Dash's mom is hot. Does really? Arnie have siblings? I, she must, because if I was doing right here, I'd be pumping that oven full of batter <laughs> on a nightly basis. Oh, Jesus Christ, I stole them myself. Anyway, these are Dash's parents. Grow hot hoof and wet your whistle. And as fate would have it, they spurg out over their daughter as much as Scoot does. So they're showing yeah. her all those things you always these hope your parents really, never show yeah, anyone. And Papa really Dash is like, our little well, together. Dashie was an early learner. Our little Dashie. Our little Oh, really? Well, I desperately <laughs> want to believe that this is just a coincidental combination of very common words. All yes. of my instinct says it isn't. You bastards know exactly what Yeah, you're I don't think so, mate. So we interrupt Rainbow and her crew while they're practicing, and Spitfire is actually really cool about it, but Fleetfoot's making this <laughs> fucking face the whole time, man. I know I say it whenever she shows up, but this chick makes me real fucking nervous, dude. Ever since the first time I heard her say... <laughs> I just felt really uncomfortable anytime she's around. Oh god, she's stopping. She's looking right at Dash's dad. What's she gonna? Oh, oh fuck me, she's going over there. And Fleetfoot Salt. Sir, you really raised a great flyer. Oh, that's a really normal, nice thing to say. Yeah, also, kinda. if you pull this shit again, I will bite your motherfucking face off. I will bite that shit off and save it in a pickle <laughs> jar and then run around at night chasing little kids wearing your fucking face. An entire generation what? of little fillies and cults will grow up thinking you're the <laughs> what All the right, shit? Catch you later. And dude just starts crying, and Dash is like, "Yeah, that's Fleetfoot. She's kind of a goofball." And then um, some really some stuff happened, and paying attention much here. God fucking damn it, Scootaloo! <laughs> Why'd you bring them here? And Scoots is like, "Dude, get this. You forgot to tell them you were a Wonderbolt, so I decided to do you a solid and show them. No yeah. need to thank me, bro. Do you think I'm fucking retarded? Yeah, but <laughs> you're supposed to say no, and then I say yeah. So there's a reason that. Uh, look, look, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, they treat me like I'm still a little kid who needs praise for wiping my own ass. It drives me fucking crazy. And if they're hanging around, I'm either gonna get pissed off and yell at them, or they'll end up as the newest additions in Fleetfoot's pickled face collection. Have you ever? 
you know, talk to them about this? Oh my god, Wendy looks just <laughs> like Rainbow here. And no, not because of the hat. I can tell that's actually not Dash's face. I mean, their <laughs> colors are so similar that when her hair is covered up, the only way yeah. to tell the difference is the freckle. Obviously, they're related, so it makes sense. But it just made me think. Other than a Indeed, few outliers, every pony much, female uh, has the same body. So yeah, whenever yeah, we all get in our little design. arguments about which one is the cutest, we're literally just fighting over color schemes, hairdos, and the occasional difference in eye shape. With that in mind, is it really so surprising that this fandom is such an autism magnet when one of our longest running debates essentially boils down to which colors and shapes are the prettiest? I'm just saying. Then the Reds fuck up the actual Wonder uh, Bowl show true. and almost kill Fleetfoot and their own daughter with the rocket, and I'm like, oh, they're just well-meaning idiots who fuck shit up because they're obsessive and devoted but lack any self-awareness whatsoever. Yeah, they really are look. Rainbow Dash's parents. If Fleetfoot's all <laughs> Dash, either you make the stop right now or I will make a suit out of your parents' skin and fuck you while wearing it. What? Rainbow's like, oh, Fleetfoot, there's something really wrong with you. If only they'd aim that firework just a little to the left. Even if you discount the fact that Dash has no visible horseshoes, her flight suit clearly goes over the bottoms of her feet. How the hell does this make any sense? Magic. Anyway, finally Dash is like, hey, you guys are sucking me off so hard this probably qualifies as incest. Now get the fuck out before I slap you or Fleetfoot starts removing pieces of your body. So Scootaloo does this whole saddy pants bit and Dash is all, bro, you don't fucking get it. I've been dealing with this shit my entire life. When something's yeah. been bothering you since you were a kid, it can be really hard to be cool about it because it puts you back in that headspace from when you were young and confused about your feelings. No, man, I do get it. Most people have an elaborate interconnected web of bullshit with their parents that spans a lifetime, and I guess it's not fair for uh -huh. an outsider to come bursting in and start making so judgments. So what's his anger on this? Becoming an adult is processing those clusterfucks of poorly defined emotion you had as a kid and dealing with them in a constructive manner. Jesus Christ, man, you're like 12. How are you saying all these <laughs> psychologist words? Because this is the part of the video where this pretentious pseudo intellect actual faggot does the oh so deep life lesson <laughs> bit and i'm the only other character in this scene now shut the fuck up anyway it's not that well, your feelings about this thing don't informed. matter or that there isn't a problem but the way you handled it was shitty ironing out long-standing <laughs> familial problems is hard but that's what being a grown-up is doing hard stuff now because it benefits you and your own in the long run damn dude you're right i should probably be the one telling you this stuff huh no <laughs> man that line worked with rarity and sweetie bell last week but you and me <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, nothing about um, Scootaloo's parents uh, or the possible Scootaloo parent situation here. I had kind of expected him to go there, but no, he just decided to do some analyzing in the end there, as usual. But yeah, <laughs> that was a step up from last week's episodes, and he didn't spend all the fucking time fawning over uh, windy whistles. So that was a pleasant surprise, kind of. Anyway, on to the next episode. That would be, oh yes, a personal favorite of mine. Hard to say anything. I like that episode. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who thinks that way. So, let's go. Uh-huh. I'm glad that scene wasn't expanded upon. But it's going to be. Alright, so AB's like, hello older brother Big Mac, are you delivering those apples to that village where our friend Starlight Glimmer used to live? And Mac's like, yep. And Sweetie <laughs> B's all, wow, that place sure is a long distance from this place we're in right now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah definitely is. I believe here. you've been there five times in the past week, is that correct? Yeah. That certainly is a lot of times to go to a particular place in one week. Yep, it Max sure Max is. Catch here. you guys later. Did you ever pop that giant zit you had on your inner thigh? Because that thing was nasty. What? Okay, you can stop now. Remember that time in high school you went through that experimental phase and AJ nicknamed you Nancy Boy? I said stop, so <laughs> Scoot like there can only be one reason a pony's traveled so far so often pussy <laughs> yeah let's follow him and see this piece of ass he's into oh, sounds course. like a plan yo guys do you think that maybe this is none of our business and for once we should just stay the fuck out of it you know especially considering our track record with this kind of shit scoot i know you're kind of in the dark on this shit but family is an implicit contract <laughs> see no matter how bad you fuck up in life your fam's always there to catch you it's that one final immutable safety net that remains when everything else is crashed and burned around you however oh, in course. exchange for that unconditional love and solidarity we have 
exclusive, unlimited rights to fuck around in each other's personal business. It's, it's a give and take, it works. so what justifies the two of us tagging along? Oh, I don't actually give a shit, I was just making a point. And <laughs> would you look at that, our homeboy's really here to see a chick. But I mean, you know, maybe she's a repeat customer who just needs a lot of shipment. Sure, at first I was like, that's a suspiciously large amount of apples, but then I thought about how many beers I drink in a week, and if I lived in Equestria, the beer delivery pony would probably think I wanted to fuck him. Now that I think about it, I hope the guy at the liquor store doesn't think that. <laughs> oh wait, no, she wants the dick. Guys, she wants the dick. God damn it, Big Mac, you listen to me, and you listen good. You, my friend, have a chance that neither I nor any of these sorry sons watching this video <laughs> will ever have. You can fuck. Fuck the pony pussy, bro. Not just for yourself, but for all of us. You are a very literal self-insert, <laughs> and it is your duty to every guy watching this to pound that tight little marshmallow pony ass because we never will. This is your chance to be part of something wow. greater than yourself, to be our glorious knight, our standard-bearing champion, our personal pony pussy <laughs> pounding paladin <laughs> proxy. You cannot, you must not fuck this up because if you do, we are all of us damned. And sweetie's all dude. Dude, she wants it bad, but he's got the game of a fucking preschooler. Yeah. All right, gals, it's time for our most important mission yet. Let's get my brother some ass. So the CMCs are like, yo, Mac, do you like Sugar Bell? Yeah. Fam, you gotta tell her. I don't know, man. But if you don't, you'll <laughs> never know for sure if she feels the same way, and you could miss out on a lifelong relationship of mutually supportive love and affection. Uh, dude, she might suck your dick, though. <laughs> okay, good point. I'll give it a shot. So this is our antagonist for the episode, <laughs> Finger Bangs, and I cannot fucking stand him. I know he's just a one-off <laughs> gag character, and he succeeds in that purpose because he makes me gag, and I want to rub one off on the next meal of whoever designed him. And Finger Bangs <laughs> is like, These balls are like you. If I was a chick and some guy said those words to me, I'd be like, buddy, the next part of the sentence better <laughs> fucking dazzle me or you're going home with a broken jaw. Also, these look like anal beads, I'm just saying. Hey, check it out. Dudes fangirls are pornified versions of those three chicks from Beauty and the Beast that made my weenie feel funny when I was a kid. So, the Phillies decide that the best way to get Big Mac laid is to rob Sugar Bell and have him stop them. Yeah, and at first that's I was very like, logic. Mac, should you really be taking relationship advice from three 12-year-old girls? Then again, you're a massive fucking spurg, and at least they're trying <laughs> shit, so I guess it's better than nothing? Probably. You know, what the hell? Or I maybe think not. after this video, I'm gonna go down to the elementary school across town and ask a few little girls if they can help me get laid. Yeah, I, uh, that I'll is... let you guys know how it goes. That's oh, hey, a good this idea. is a normal thing to do. Hey, guys, if you want to ask a chick out, just wait until she falls asleep, spy on her with binoculars for a little bit, and then go suck her face while she's still unconscious. So then they have this <laughs> fucking music battle, and I'm just like, no... Stop. <laughs> and apparently Sugar Bell feels exactly the same way because she's all, hey, country freestyle is not a fucking genre, you yokel piece of shit. And you, you Justin Bieber ass motherfucker. You must be a goddamn pedophile because no one over 14 would want to fuck you after hearing that shit. Now both of you fuck off. Mm. And Big Mac's all, dude, I should have just thought for a second and done something that was mm. personally meaningful for her instead of listening to all your dumb ass ideas. Yeah. And AB's like, probably. well, yeah, probably, but you were just gonna give up and go home. I mean, yeah, our ideas are dumb, but that's because we're tween age girls. What the fuck do we know about the social conventions surrounding adult courtship rituals other than the shit we read in romance novels? <laughs> okay, fair enough. I guess I was asking for trouble. Yeah, but hey, you to were. your credit, at least you kept me in the game long enough for me to pull my head out of my ass. So I guess our lesson of the day is fucking up is better than giving up. Yeah, and actually thinking about what the hell you're doing is better than either. So, Mac Probably. Daddy builds sugar tits a new and improved display for a <laughs> shop to replace the one he wrecked and she's like holy shit dude this is fucking sick i've been dying to try baking cream pies and cream pies and cream oh, of pies course and cream do I even need to actually make the joke? I feel like you guys could just write my scripts for me at this point. And he's like, oh my god, please let me put my penis in. <laughs> I like you too. Ladies and gentlemen, our victorious champion, Big Mac, you did good, son. And when you're pounding her sweet, candy-colored ass tonight, we'll all be there with you in spirit. And the CMCs are all, hey, puss cake, you lost the game, so go fuck one of those whores. Or all of them. And Finger Bang's like, what should I say to them? Are you kidding me, bro? I'm pretty sure as long as you don't stick it in their eye sockets, they're cool with anything. Actually, I'm down for skull fucking if you're into that. Dude, if you can't swing this, just fucking kill yourself. <laughs> uh. 
wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting angle to take with the episode. Big Mac being the literal self-insert for the fandom here. Yeah, that sure is an angle one can take here. Oh, well, I don't even know what to say to this. Uh, that has been interesting. So yeah, before I say anything stupid, I'm just gonna call it quits here. As always, I've been Stratagem, thanks for watching and see you next time.